So that's one of our new favorite campsites. Yeah. It's a good one. Navigating through here in the spring is a lot easier than uh, later on in the season because it fills in with lily pads and it can be tricky to know which way to go um, to get to where you need to go. We actually got lost here uh, a couple of years ago. It was filled with lily pads and we just couldn't figure out which way to go, but it's a lot easier now. Before they've come in, they're just spreading. Pretty cool. But she wouldn't do anything to him. She was just letting him know, hey. It was just more just in case we didn't see it. She was pretty good. Yeah. I'm surprised. That's the thing though, you run into them on the portage and they don't care. Like, they're just like, get out of my way. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Okay, so we saw a portage sign and we thought we were done, but we're not done. So we're backing up. And we're gonna have to pull over some beaver dams.
back over that way. Okay, we'll have to pull over this guy. That was some very icy water. And we're gonna have to get out for this one too. This one's pretty tall. Stay. Stay. It's very cold. It is. It's, it's the coldest cold. we've stepped in so far. Yeah, it's like twice as cold as the bay that we were just in. There's a blanket here. Tiger on it. It's kind of cool. Kind of want it. Kind of want that thing. Huh? Kind of want that. It's pretty sweet, it? yeah. So they got a tiger on it. We can move over across the path here. Go around. Swim o'clock.
this? In the driveway. In the driveway. Oh nice driveway. <laughs> Hop out. Okay. Wow, so gingerly. So cautious. Ooh, this plank is uh Let me just, okay. you're gonna go further? Yeah. No. no. <laughs> just wanted to have a little snuggle. Macintosh Lake. Looking beautiful. It is beautiful. Emma fell off, fell off the canoe because we lost a wrapper and we turned around to get it and she got excited and then she fell out. So now we have to haul her back in. Do you have a good swim, Emma? Macintosh Lake, you had a good swim? Another down tree over the portage. We're in Timberwolf. Okay, hop in. Oh, hop, hop in. It's a lot of fallen trees. I'm gonna have to get through there. <laughs> It's really bushy where we got out. It's kind of. Took out a lot and it's bleak. You what? Took out a lot of trees and it's bleak. Yeah. You think you can get the canoe out of there? Yeah, it's fine. There's a path here. Oh. Should I walk over there? Sure. Huge. 
huge, huge boulders, cliffs. Nice and sunny because none of the leaves are coming yet on the trees. Pretty steep to get down now again. How was that one? Uh, a little much? A lot of climbing. Yeah, that was uh, a lot of climbing on that one. And, uh, I'm inclined to just want to stay here again. Misty? We're in Misty now from Timberwolf. 251. I think we got another like hour and a half to go. So we're going to take a break and have our lunch snack here. And we've been snacking, but our, our pepperoni and cheese snack. You heard cheese? Flat pretzels, baby bells, and pepperoni. Pretzels are a new addition. You like those? Mm -hmm. You were saying you think it's a good addition? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't go without them now. Yeah, there's a lot of rocks there. It's really shallow. It's very difficult to pass. Or be careful and go slow. Year, Starts off pretty steep. We've got a 1K portage here. Fifth portage of the day. We've got seven total. Another tree down. Oh, Want to go that way? Yeah. Or that way? That way. Hmm. over here. Ooh. Oh, it's green. Tired? Oh, I think the worst of it's over. <laughs> I hope so. It's pretty late in the day. <laughs> anything worse than that. What time is it? I think it's like three. I think it'll end up being a shorter day than yesterday. Maybe it's 3.30, I don't know. I don't know how you're doing all these. You must have infinite energy. I do offer to help every time, just saying. So many fallen trees today. Oh, you need to just go a little lower. Yeah, you're good. All right, I'm next. We're just approaching our last portage. Oh, the sun flare is terrible. 540 meters to Bandit from Winona. Our seventh and final portage of the day. Made it. Finally. We 
didn't die. I hope so. <laughs> so there's only two sites on this lake. That was one of them, we passed it. And it's pretty shady. So we're gonna go back to the first one. And check that one out. I mean, we don't really have much choice. There's only two. So I think we'll take the other one. We've discovered there's a crow's nest on this island, on this small lake that we're staying on. Cool. I think we're gonna call this one home. I might even go this one. Yeah. I bet the lake's pretty warm here. Nice. So I threw the first rope over the branch and I have a bowline on the end of it. So I'll put the first carabiner on and then I'll put this pulley on. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a second rope and put it around the pulley and then put this up in the tree. 
and we'll use the second rope to put the food up and down. This, this rope, I'll just tie it off and we won't touch it anymore. And that way we're not putting any weight on the branch and having to use friction against the branch to pull the food up and down. It also allows you to pull it away from the tree, which I'll show you in a second. I can start to pull this up, but I need to hold on to this so I don't lose it. And I'll pull it up. About three or four feet. So now on the end of the second rope, I have another bowlin, and I'll put another carabiner on. And then this is what's gonna to attach to the food bag. We always put a bell on, just to give us a bit of a, a warning in case something's trying to get in. And hoist it up. You can see there's no friction. It's a bit low. But once I go back here, Pull it away from the branch and up. Perfect. <laughs> and even if the bear was on the tree, just like that. And it climbed the tree, <laughs> and then it was trying to reach, it wouldn't. And even if it somehow got onto this branch, and was hanging from the branch, it wouldn't be able to reach. No, because there's distance this way too. So there's, there's no way. The only way it could get the food is if it figured out that there's a rope tied to it. And then started kind of like pulling on the rope and then maybe biting it or something or or like using its weight to kind of shimmy along here and pull the branch down it's, it's possible they could still get it it's worst they, case scenario if they're really smart all right job well done get your dino bring your dino let's go And I need to use those earplugs tonight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it's actually definitely loud. Yeah, it's pretty loud. All right, let's get a fire going. Dinner.
<laughs> Some big leeches. Good night. Time for breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. Made me really happy. He came to see us. I could hear every detail in his call. Yeah, in the middle of the night, an owl landed on the tree right on top of our tent and was calling. It was so loud and amazing. with a little bit of a dirt floating in it for some reason. Emma, wait. Good girl. I really like that campsite. 
Beautiful. I, I actually, every campsite in Algonquin is different, so it's hard to say what I prefer. But I do like the smaller lakes. They're very quiet, except for in the spring when you've got a million spring peepers right next door to you. But <laughs> it's, it's very peaceful on the smaller lakes. There's less wind, there's usually less campsites, so there's less chance of, you get more solitude. Feels like true wilderness. But this this one here has another campsite right across, so hopefully if we stay here again, we'd be the only ones, but it was perfect. Yeah, this is the other site right there, right across. I think you can only book one site though. No, you can book two. Oh, you can book both. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It's kind of surprising that they would let you book two sites on this lake because they're so close together. Yeah, it's a little awkward. I mean, if you're with a bigger group, the maximum size per site is nine, I believe. So if you had more than that, it'd be kind of nice. Uh, yeah, but it's not much. Well, actually, this one here has a lot of room to set up multiple tents. Mm -hmm. The other one's not so much. Four forty bandit to moccasin. Nice one. Okay, hop in. Nope, hop in here. Nope. Here, hop in. Down. Oh, it's not bad. Nice. Okay, hold on. I gotta go a little further. Oh yeah, we should be able to get through now. Wait. That's pretty good, yeah? Yeah, it's fine. Down. Getting over some obstacles here. Just falling in from both sides? Or yeah, I don't know. I 
Am I? You're gonna fall out. Stay. 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 That's sinky mud. Bog dog. Bog dog. Ooh, you made it. You made it. We got a bog dog though. Oh, oh no. Yeah. A bog dog. Now I'm gonna have a bog bum. Maybe you gotta swim for a bit. And you want me to cut it all. I just pulled over that beaver dam. What a day. The water is frigid. <laughs> we were in the water for a little while and our feet are ice now. Those lakes were a lot warmer. Yeah, those lakes were warmer. That was cold. Back in the, river and the, river's the river's freezing, yeah. something in there. Oh, they can kind of see us, maybe. Emma, what's this? Want water? very tired on day four of the trip. Um, probably should try and plan fishing near the end of the trip. She gets really tired out, she's less excited. She's still very excited right now, but very, very calm. Good girl. And you're getting treats? Yeah. Good girl, stay calm. She is tied to a tree because she will knock me over. <laughs> I can't hold her when she gets really, really excited. So right now she's being very good.
Kapan? <laughs> oh, I knew something was wrong. He's off. Water level did go down since we've been here three days ago. Four days ago. Maybe. Magneto on. Good trip? Great trip. Pretty challenging. Hardest trip? Hardest trip we've ever done with Emma for sure. Probably mm -hmm. hardest ever. It was good. I would do it again. Me too. I would prefer the first two days not be going straight into the wind like we were, of course. Those were pretty hard. I'm a sleepy. Ready for the long car ride home. <laughs> <laughs>